Tea time with trash. This hood, and it's not every hood. And this one, it just seemed like, if you just mind your business, you'll be good. That's everywhere you go. That's not everywhere. Because it is places in Chicago and Atlanta where you could be not doing anything and get gone. Hmm? What's going on, y'all? It's AM Chopping. I'm back, 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 back. Biggie back. I'm back again. Y'all, I have, they say this is authentic Jamaican food. It is. So. I I on it. Oh, let me say this before you put your little critters in here. Father God, I come here to ask you over this food. Please have been nourishment to my body. Please let me digest this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. One more time. Amen. Amen. I'm going to start with the brown stew first. Because it looks good. I can't do that. Just get some. Oh my god. Listen to me. That's what I'll be talking about. Oh, this is good. It's really good. Y'all, I'm in Philly. Um, I didn't know Philly was like full of Jamaicans. I thought that was only New York. These jerk sauce smell spicy. Right. Hmm. It's better than the Jamaican food I had in Atlanta. Because it's not authentic. Absolutely. Look, we are authentic Jamaicans. When you go in there, do they have nasty attitudes? Their customer service doesn't like a thousand percent. Mm -hmm. That's because if you go to a Jamaican restaurant, they got good customer service, it ain't good. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have they have good people good. That's what people say about Waffle House. They say if Waffle House isn't dirty, they don't want the food. Yeah. Because they're gonna be good. But I don't eat Waffle House. Y'all got, oh, I didn't tell you what I got. I got brown stew chicken, jerk chicken, rice and peas, cabbage, and bok choy. I have no idea what bok choy is, but it sounded good. Mm. Hell no. Bok choy not good. <laughs> uh, that's not good. It's just the quiet taste. Well, I, I'm not inquiring. That's not good. Oh, this cap is good though. Y'all, we didn't get in last night till like, what was it, three, four? The bars out here are a lot of fun. Um, they're a little bit different from Atlanta. 
but it was still fun nonetheless. I'm gonna turn the air off. Hold on. Probably a fall like that. Leave him right after this. I'm going to have to get something to drink. Alright, Alan. Back to the conversation. I'm going to need you to join in on the conversation even if you sit over there. Because I know you're going to have something to say. Not in a bad way. Tea time with trash. So what I want to talk about is the cultural difference from the north and the south. And even like from the hood and the suburbs. That's what I want to talk about. Because when I came here, y'all, I was just like, what in the world? Like, I was scared. But, when I just walked down the street to get this, that's one thing. They don't, you walk everywhere. I don't do that. I walk to my car and from my car. Or into the grocery store, back to my car. I walk. But there's a lot of walking over here, and I know Trey got something to say already. But when I walked to get this, I was scared, I'm not going to lie. I just thought I was going to get mugged. But it's like in this hood, and it's not every hood, because some hoods are really crazy. But in this one, it just seemed like if you just mind your business, you'll be good. Is that true? That's everywhere you go. That's not everywhere. Because it is places in Chicago and Atlanta where you could... Be not doing anything and get hmm? done. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's not like this hood, but I it's hood. So it's like it's, it's much different, much different. And I don't understand. And no offense to anybody that lives in Philadelphia, but I gotta say this: I don't know where y'all tax dollars go. Because y'all city look like, you know, what? It look old. I'm going to just leave that old. Because well, I don't want to. Okay. And their ordinance put in place to keep it with the historic value. Like, if you purchase a property and it has, let's say, a, a historic window frame. You can't change that window frame. And I just don't agree with that. You only can refurbish it. Refurbish it. I, I don't agree with that. I feel like it needs to be touched up, revamped, it's renovated. So, when people visit Philadelphia, I guess they want people to know, um, to feel like oh. this is first capital. And feel like this is where it all began. This is where our democracy began. So they want to keep that element. So when you come, it's like, yeah, I can yeah, I see it. I felt it felt real original. Okay, I get that, but there's no way that every subway should smell like piss. Welcome to the north. And I did hear about that being uh, up north. I heard the same thing about New York, but I've also never been to New York. Mm -hmm. Like, why don't they do something about that though? They do. They clean it. When? Because when we went, those subways we went to yesterday smell like they've been clean since our democracy started. People continue, huh? People continue. People continue to piss when they clean it. 
Don't they don't have bathrooms over there? We have a large homeless population. And a large drug population, heroin. It's actually the country's um, number one import. It's Philadelphia. Heroin? There's a section in the city called um, Kensington. Kensington. Where you can walk down the street and somebody will be sitting on the stoop, like shooting up dope. Well, they do it at gay bars in Atlanta. Oh, wow. They'll be like, you want some candy? And it'll be crap. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then people will sit there, um, they'll be working. Like, you think they're going to fall over because they're so high? Mm hmm. And, like, right before they hit the ground, they'll pop up. This place is definitely different from what I'm accustomed to. From Chicago and Atlanta. Um, we were on the phone with my mom and I was telling her about it. And she was like, I already know you out there. I'm like, yeah. I was a little scared. Um, <laughs> because, and it's not, I realize it's not as bad as you ain't that I perceive about. it. That's what I'm saying. It's not as bad as I perceive it, but it's just, it was different. Like, it was an eye opener. You like the voice. You ain't stopped talking about them since you got here. That's real messy. <laughs> and I hope they can't hear you on this microphone. I hope they don't pick up the sound, actually. <laughs> That's fine. No, y'all, Philly got some um, boys. Men. I don't know. Girls that pretend to be men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll probably be pregnant by the time this video come out. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my God. Um, Y'all, their Chinese restaurant is a grocery store. You can get, you can order Chinese food and get chips and candy and soda and tampons and Tylenol all in the restaurant. Is that a up north thing? You can get one. Yeah. I don't know. Did they do that in um, that Chinese stores or look like that? In Missouri? No, that's Midwest. They don't do that up there. Yeah. Any Chinese restaurant you go in down here. You know that. Unless it's actually like sit down Chinese restaurant, then it's just a regular restaurant. Why are restaurants so small? Because it's not a sit down, it's just to go in and take out. Oh. It's always been like that or COVID? No, it's still always like that. Oh. But we have actual Chinese restaurants that you go and sit down and have dinner with your family yeah. and stuff like that. But those like little Chinese takeout shops. Mm -hmm. And the neighborhoods, no, they don't have to sit down. Damn, only bone. Yeah, we got some Chinese chicken wings from, um... Homei. Hmm? Homei. Homei. And is that really the name of it? Trying to make fun of me. That's the name of it. It's called Homei. Oh. And we got four wings, and y'all, they put it in a brown paper bag. Like, it wasn't even in a box. It wasn't in to-go box. It wasn't in no form. It, 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 it was in a brown paper bag. No, it was in the, the same plastic bag that they put, like, a, a shrimp roll in. And then that bag is inside the brown paper bag. That don't make it no better. Can I take that? In your room? I thought you were going to curse me out. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Y'all, the people I've met here are cool so far. Some of them. Um, let me tell you about a drunken adventure last night. Um, one of the trade friends, we went, we had to go to the store right, at four in the morning. And we didn't know if we were going to get mugged or not. So we like left our wallets, our AirPods, all that. So we get back. And he couldn't even remember where his wallet was at. So this man freaking out, y'all. 
literally freaking out. He like froze his debit cards, um, calling people like, can you check your car? Calling the bar, can you check the bar? Da, 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 da. And we also went to a party afterwards. I'll tell you about that in another video. Went to a party after that. He thought he may have dropped it there. We get to the house, and I think the house is abandoned. I think people had a party in a house that nobody lives in. Um, and we don't even know if we got to go over there and get, you know, whatever happens. We get back to the house. Yo, his wallet was here the whole time. He literally put it in the drawer before he went to the store because he didn't know what was going to happen. Mostly he was drunk. You know how like when somebody just turned 21 and they act a fool, they don't know their limits. Yeah, the whole night. Y'all, he was rolling around the floor. I'm not gonna say too much. He's rolling around the floor. You were on the floor. No, you did it on purpose. Because you put your legs around um, Josh. And we was holding your legs. And then you got on the floor. And then, y'all, he kept standing up on the um, on their chairs. And I feel like he had one more time before security kicked him out. And I would have been embarrassed because I've gotten kicked out of much better. For much worse. You about to go? Mm -hmm. No, I mean they'll see the back of you when you go right there, bro. <laughs> Yo. They can see you. Yeah, I'm having a good time. I have today's Thursday. I leave Sunday morning. So I still have a couple days. Um, Trey's birthday is actually tomorrow. Well, it'll be today when y'all do the video. If I put it out Friday. Probably which I probably will. Um, so we're going to the bar tonight. And he's like, I need to be drunk by midnight to bring in my birthday. So we'll see how that goes. Mm. Mm. Y'all gotta stop eating the chicken like that. Cause I'll be biting on the bones. I'm gonna have to mama brown stew, but I want that one. So yeah, it's a jam. Dang. I'll take this one. You can take a bit of it. I don't want it. The skin gone. Hey, what? The skin gone. So, for all my people that may have lived in the north and then moved to the south, or vice versa, or anywhere, and it was like a big jump. You may have one from the east coast to the west coast. I want y'all to comment below and tell me like what was the biggest cultural shock that you had. Mm. What was your biggest cultural shock up there? My biggest was probably when that LA crushed. <laughs> it was a lot. One, the scenery, like we talked about. And that, that's only because I expected something different for it to be Philadelphia, like knowing the history of it. I would have thought that they would have kept it more like polished, but I get what you're saying. Well, it is. You have to remember that you're in the urban section. Well, even when we came from the airport, like I was seeing a lot of stuff. I don't know what route he took. But it was like it was a lot of stuff that didn't that wasn't appealing to me that I wouldn't have expected. Oh, this city life is urban. Um. So yeah. So like I said, it, it may not be as bad as I'm portraying it. It's just because I expected something different. But then again, when you have expectations, that's when you usually get let down. So I can't blame nobody but myself for expecting something. But that um. Even the bar setting too, like the the people, 
in Atlanta, like we have a lot of fun, etc. But you know, in Atlanta, everybody want to be better than the next. So you're going to have those people that are staring you up and down, but in a bad way, like trying to size you up. Or you have the people that they may have had dealings with each other or had social media beef, and now they're at the bar trying to hash it out. Okay. I didn't get none of that last night. It was a lot of fun on top of fun on top of fun. They had a couple people, I'm not going to say no names, that kept threatening to beat people up, but they didn't. I was down there off camera. Me? No. No. Oh. He was having fun. Um, but, yeah, that that was completely different. Like, everybody was there having genuine fun. It wasn't forced. It wasn't, you know, nothing. Like, even after the fact, if you go to a random club or bar, nine times out of ten, that let out, somebody's going to fight. That didn't happen at all. So that was, that was a good cultural shock. That was fun, I think. That was good. I'm about to find it off though. Yeah. This was good. I gotta go back here before I go. All right, um, I'm about to sign out. I gotta go enjoy the rest of the Philly life. So, you already know if you're not subscribed to the channel. Wait. Oh, check out the website in the description box below www.airtrap.com. They get the ASOS, AL merch, all that. Chanel, Chanel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, it's right, right there. Boom, and the right there. Boom, so you can notify me every time I drop a video. But if you want to stay connected with the Airtrap, jump. Back into the description box, go down to the bottom, brr, boom. Right there, no day, same social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Y'all already know, add me, follow me, leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a comment here, do whatever. Let me know, like what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what you want to say, what you don't want to say, what you want to see, what you don't 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 want